everyone. So today I'm going to start off by doing my 15 week pregnancy update and just let you all in on what my symptoms are and how I've been feeling and of course the belly bump shot at the end. But so I'm 15 weeks in one day today and the reason why I didn't film the past weeks is because for the first Week, couple weeks or honestly all my symptoms and everything were just the same I was just super nauseous um, like pretty bad actually with my first son Malachi I actually was not sick at all and with this one I have been sick the whole time like very bad so this last week was like perfect I had no sickness and kind of like getting back into the routine of like where I can eat whatever now because before nothing sounded good and I had like no appetite whatsoever so it was probably the worst thing ever. But yeah, and then I have some notes here just in case I don't get off track. Sorry if it, anyway this video gets blown out because it kind of gets scattered here. But anyways, um, yeah, so a couple of my symptoms, what I'm trying to think. I know in the beginning, and now it's kind of going away too, is I had like really bad breakouts. Like, and I mean, my skin's not perfect, but usually most of the time it stays pretty clear. So that was like a huge thing. I just started breaking out of where, and I also didn't have that with my son Malachi either. So I was thinking it was going to be a girl, but it turned out to be another boy. So, um, yeah, so I started breaking out pretty bad. And then, I mean, it was like on my, I had it on my chest and everything, like places that I usually just don't have it. I was just getting it. So it's finally starting to clear up. So that's another huge thing. That and the nausea are like the worst things I think about the whole first couple of weeks. Um, so I don't know if this is weird and I don't know if any of you have experienced this or if it's just me going crazy, but I feel like nesting has almost hit sooner with me already having this like a kid already like I feel like I just consistently want the house clean or I just like want to get ready as if like the baby's gonna be here tomorrow which obviously he isn't but I feel like that's how I feel like I'm constantly like cleaning and rearranging the house and like making sure everything's nice and put together and it's like funny because I I mean I'm not like I usually do clean the house but you know like I feel like I'm extra more of like wanting to make sure everything's like put in a special little place and everything so that's like been super weird. I mean like honestly, it's been like crazy how much I've wanted to like go and like organize things all of a sudden and everything. So yeah, let's see. Forgetfulness. Okay, yes. I literally have forgot so many things that like, it, it'll be the easiest thing. Like I work at a local restaurant where I live and like just from the smallest things of like, you know, customized for butter and then like all of a sudden like, you know forgot the butter like so I mean like just small things like I mean I don't know how it happened this time because with my last pregnancy I just didn't experience it as bad as I have with this one but I mean yeah I mean it could be something as easy as like a piece of paper that I set down and then like 10 minutes later I, the paper's nowhere to be found so yeah that's been a definitely hard one um let's see some of my cravings now I haven't really craved anything too crazy uh, the biggest thing I think that I crave is just tomatoes with salt on them. Like, I could probably eat so many tomatoes, which I've always been a fan of tomatoes, though. So, I mean, it's not, like, anything too bizarre or anything. I haven't had, like, a pickles and ice cream craving or something like that. But, yeah, so just, like, tomatoes and salt have been, like, a huge thing. Anything that's, like, fruits, like watermelons or strawberries or anything has been, like, my go-to. Because with me being, like, sick at first, it was the only thing I could really like stomach without like it really making me sick or anything and then um yeah so I mean basically that's just what's going on I had my first couple ultrasounds and everything um everything looks good they said that the baby's healthy and everything's measuring up right my due date is January 6th which is funny because with my first son Malachi his due date was January 6th and I had him on the 8th so I'm hoping that they don't share the same birthday just because I wanted to at least have separate birthdays, but if they do, then they do. Um, I just think it's really odd how like it worked out that way, like we didn't like plan for it to happen on that specific day or anything, so yeah, so let's see how that goes. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place or anything, and it's kind of super short too, but I plan on working on it, um, take some more notes down and everything, and if you like this video, go ahead and like it, and I'll know that you want to see more of these, and, oh yes, the belly shot, so I'll go ahead and show you, 
All right. So this is my 12. 12, oh my gosh. That's exactly what I was trying to explain. This is my 15 week belly. So it's not too big, but I mean, it's definitely there. But yeah, okay, so like I said, hope you like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, bye.